Hello everyone, and welcome back to Biopedia. The platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, is a well-known and well-loved figure in Australia and across the world. It's probably accurate to say that most of us, if we ever think of them at all, would see them as curious but harmless creatures. However, surprising as it may sound to modern ears, that's not always been the case. Meet Obdurodon Theralco's child, the monster platypus. O. Theralco's child was, at the time of its discovery back in 2013, the fourth extinct species of platypus that we had ever discovered. More to the point, it was also the biggest. A National Geographic article from the same year puts its length at one metre, compared with the 38 centimetres of the modern-day platypus. This organism lived around 5 to 15 million years ago, during the late Miocene and early Pliocene epochs, according to the paper. The nature of the animal was extrapolated from a single tooth found in the so-called Two Trees site of the Riverslay World Heritage Area in northwest Queensland, Australia. This tooth had the bumps and ridges that were characteristic of the platypus, but was far larger and may indicate that this creature was carnivorous. The modern platypus, Oanatinus, largely restricts itself to soft invertebrates, but its larger cousin may have taken on prey as large as frogs, something its size would have allowed it to do. According to the 2013 paper, this bumper-sized carnivore is not the direct ancestor of the platypus we know today. Rather, it is an extra branch on the family tree. The evolutionary history of the platypus is full of twists and turns, with one species, Monotrematum sudamericanum, growing up to 70 centimetres long and living in South America, almost the last place you would expect to see them today. We will definitely have to return to the platypus and its evolutionary history in another episode, as it's something of an oddity in today's fauna. However, even while looking like a cross between a mammal and a bird, it seems the platypus still has secrets it keeps close to its chest. For any questions about today's episode, topics you'd like to suggest, or if you'd just like to get in touch, we can be contacted at biopediapodcast at gmail.com, that again, biopediapodcast at gmail.com. As always, thank you for listening, and until next time, have a great week.